students this is dr ranjini assistant professor in biotechnology welcome to e learning platform today we learn about b lymphocytes and humoral immunity b lymphocytes are otherwise called as b cells are formed from multipotent hematopoietic stem cells in the bone marrow and follow a pathway through lymphoid stem cell so hematopoietic stem cell differentiate into lymphoid cell and from the lymphoid mother cell there will be formation of the lymphocytes like b lymphocyte t lymphocytes will be formed from the lymphoid progenitor cell unlike t cells t lymphocytes however the lymphoblasts destined to become b cells or the lymphocytes which are destined to become uh, b cells do not leave the bone marrow whereas our rub t lymphocyte they leave the bone marrow and they mature in thymus hence they are called as t lymphocytes but these b lymphocyte they do not leave bone marrow and uh, travel to the thymus for maturation rather these uh, functional b cells or the eventual b cells continue to mature in the bone marrow this is the diagrammatic representation of the b cell this b cell he is having the b cell receptor so these b cell receptors are nothing but y shaped glycoproteins these are y shaped glycoproteins that are attached to the surface of the b lymphocyte these b lymphocytes can either express membrane bound the their surface one is membrane bound uh, receptor which is y shaped and secretory antibodies in the lymph and the the body fluid whereas uh, uh, membrane bound cell receptors where these antibodies will be attached to the surface of the the b cell and these b receptor b cell receptors they have the antigen binding site which is very very specific and it specifically selects the or it will bind to the antigen and further it activates the immune response that we call it as the humoral immune reaction so this is regarding the structure of the b lymphocyte b cell maturation is an assessment of functionality of their antigen binding receptors b cell maturation involves the the binding of the antigen to the binding antigen binding receptor this occurs through positive selection of for b cells with normal functional receptors in a pool of b cell specific b cell which has the specificity towards or complementarity towards the antigen will be selected and remaining uh, cells which exhibit or the other cells which are not having the complementarity to the the antigen will not be selected apart from that as we have seen in the clonal selection theory few cells they show the immune reaction against the self molecules and they will be removed by a mechanism of negative selection so the negative selection of the self reacting b cells can involve the elimination of these self reactive b cells by apoptosis or by editing or modification of the receptor so that they no longer self reactive to the b cell the immature b cells that pass the selection in the bone marrow then travel to the spleen for their final stages of maturation there they become navy mature b cells which has the specificity towards its complementary antigen or which has the the specificity towards the specific antigen next is humoral immunity as i told earlier when the b cell is challenged against the antigen it will mature and it will bring about the immune response that is called as humoral immunity here it has been shown in the picture where the navy b lymphocytes when they come in contact with the antigenic molecule 
these surface membrane bound receptors specifically recognizes the antigen and when the complementarity is situated or when the specificity is created between the the b cell receptor and the antigen molecule further specific b lymphocyte will be positively selected and that will undergo the continuous proliferation this results in the the clone of cells this is what we call the clonal expansion after that these cells will be dividing continuously and in a population few cells start secreting this the uh, y shaped glycoproteins they are called as antibody or immunoglobulin such type of b lymphocyte which will secrete the antibody to the blood um, the body fluid are called as plasma cells are also referred as effector b lymphocyte whereas another group of uh, b lymphocyte instead of secreting the secretory antibodies they express the membrane bound antibody on their surface as the receptor they serve as memory b cell so till here what you got you will be having the the effector b lymphocyte to clear off the infection at that moment and you have the memory cell where it express the membrane bound the glycoproteinaceous antibody on its surface which will remember the pathogen for the further subsequent challenges or the further infection next these secreted uh, secreted uh, antibodies will be clearing of the the infection or they clear the antigenic molecules which are there in the host body and whereas the memory cell will retain their memory for the same pathogen in the secondary infection or in the subsequent challenges and till here this is called as primary response when the same organism is infected by the same antigen then subsequently when it is infected these memory cells which have the the membrane bound antibody will be undergoing proliferation very quickly compared to the earlier b lymphocyte and they again produces the plasma b cells and the the memory b cell these plasma b cell will be uh, producing the secretory antibodies and they clear of the infection so this type of immunity which is mediated by the antibodies which are produced by the b lymphocyte is called humoral immunity humoral immunity is a type of acquired immunity where your body will be challenged with the b lymphocyte and they secrete the antibody and they clear the infection at the same time these memory cell will retain the memory for the subsequent challenge by the same antigen so this humoral immunity is governed by antibodies that are secreted by activated b cells and these b cells can be activated either by direct recognition of the antigen this is what i explained just now where the b lymphocytes are recognizing the antigen directly or these b cells can also be activated by the t cells so humoral immunity is mediated b mediated by b lymphocytes which are activated directly by the antigen or by the t cell here we just saw the direct activation of the b lymphocyte by the antigenic molecule next we'll see how the t cell activate the b cell and uh, trigger the humoral immune response here when the foreign molecule or the antigen enters or infects the host uh, body the certain cells inside the body have the high phagocytic activity they engulf this pathogen they digest it and they present the specific molecule of the antigen on its surface they are called as antigen presenting cell when these antigen presenting cell displaying the molecule of the the antigen displaying the molecule of the antigen along with that they also express the mhc molecules 
MHC molecules. So such type of cells which have high phagocytic activity and they present the, the antigenic molecule on their surface are called as antigen presenting cells. According to some research even certain B cells also act as antigen presenting cells. These cells when they display or they present the molecule of the pathogen on its surface along with the MHC molecule will be recognized by a type of T lymphocyte which express the CD4 receptor which express CD4 receptor. Here in T lymphocyte we will find the TH cells or the T helper cell and then the TC cell or the cytotoxic T lymphocyte and regulatory T lymphocyte. But here TH cell, the TH cells or the, the uh, sorry helper cell play an important role in activating the B lymphocyte. So these cells will recognize the antigen presenting cell and they start secreting the cytokines. So these cytokines will activate the B lymphocyte to proliferate and hence the, the activated B lymphocyte will undergo clonal expansion and it will produce the large population of the, the plasma cells and the memory B cells. So these plasma cells secretes the, the antibodies which circulate in the body fluid and clear off the infection whereas the memory B cells retain the, the memory of the pathogen for the subsequent challenge. And when you compare this uh, activation of B cell either by directly by the antigen or by the T cell dependent activation, this T cell dependent activation of B cell the immune response is stronger and develops memory. So here the T cells which express the CD4 receptor other otherwise called as the TH cells and they interact with the MHC2 on the antigen presenting cell and they activate the B cell. So this coordination between the B cells and the T cells that are specific to the same antigen is referred as or it is called as linked recognition. It is called linked recognition that is the coordination between B cells and the TH cells or the helper T cells that are specific to the same antigen is referred as the, the linked recognition. They play an important role in activating the B lymphocyte and further they proliferate, they clonally expand and they clear off the infection at that moment at the same time they remember the pathogen or they, they retain the memory for the further subsequent infection. So in this lecture you learnt about the B lymphocyte and you learnt about humoral immunity. At the same time in humoral immunity you learnt how the B cells are activated. There are two methods. One method is B cells are activated directly by the antigen and another one is the B cells are activated by the T lymphocyte especially the TH cells which secrete the cytokines against the specific pathogen. I hope you understood today's topic. Thank you.